Today is Friday, April 2nd, 2021. Welcome to today's daily prayers. Today is Good Friday, and so we leave our flame unlit. Let us pray. O God, whose Son declared himself to be the resurrection and the life, give me now a sense of the presence of the one who is alive forevermore. Amen. Our psalm this week is Psalm 23. True life is my shepherd. I lack nothing. God lets me rest in grassy meadows. God leads me to restful waters. God keeps me alive. God guides me in proper paths for the sake of God's good name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no danger because you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they protect me. You set a table for me right in front of my enemies. You bathe my head in oil. My cup is so full, it spills over. Yes, goodness and faithful love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in true life's house as long as I live. Our daily scripture is Ephesians 1, verses 15 through 23. Since I heard about your faith in the Master Jesus and your love for all God's people, this is the reason that I don't stop giving thanks to God for you when I remember you in my prayers. I pray that God of our Master Jesus Christ the Father of glory will give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation that makes God known to you. I pray that the eyes of your heart will have enough light to see what is the hope of God's call, what is the richness of God's glorious inheritance among believers, and what is the overwhelming greatness of God's power that is working among us believers. This power is conferred by the energy of God's powerful strength. God's power was at work in Christ when God raised him from the dead and sat him at God's right side in the heavens, far above every ruler and authority and power and angelic power, any power that might be named not only now, but in the future. God put everything under Christ's feet and made him head of everything in the church, which is his body. His body, the church, is the fullness of Christ, who fills everything in every way. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Consider Paul's prayer for the people of Ephesus 
and know that he prayed it for you as well. I pray that the God of our Master Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, will give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation that makes God known to you. We need the wisdom and revelation that only Jesus can give if we are to know God most fully. Take this time to ask Jesus to give you the wisdom and revelation you need to grow in your understanding of God. Paul also prayed that the eyes of your heart will have enough light to see what is the hope of God's call, what is the richness of God's glorious inheritance among believers, and what is the overwhelming greatness of God's power that is working among us believers. Ask God to open the eyes of your heart that you might know the hope of God's call and the greatness of God's power in your life as you seek to serve in Jesus' name. Jesus the Christ is the head of the church universal. What does that mean to you? How can we acknowledge and accept Christ's leadership here at St. James or in whatever church you participate? Today's reading is a poem called The Opening. It's written by Shirley Gepton Lynn and is found in For Everything There Is a Season, compiled by Karen Greenvault. Alone, O oh Lord, alone with thee, where none can speak, nor hear, nor see. The bar I've placed across my heart, I'd lift and bid the doors depart on rusty hinges open wide and let just once your love inside. And when I'd turn to close the door and put the bar in place once more, my heart so filled with thee I'd find the doors could not be closed behind. Let us pray. Jesus, on this Friday of Holy Week, we remember the terrible pain of your passion. We tremble before the image of your body, once used to offer acts of love and mercy, now being tortured and crucified. We acknowledge that this kind of horrible and inhumane behavior is still carried out 
on our fellow human beings all around the world, sometimes even in the name of Jesus. How little the world has seemed to learn about the power of love and about the sin of violence. Forgive us for the ways that we participate even indirectly in the suffering of others. Teach us your better way. We pray for all who suffer this day, especially those who suffer violence at the hands of others. May they be comforted and healed by your presence with them in the midst of their suffering. And may they be freed from the power of those who torment them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who cannot yet see the hope of God's call and the greatness of God's power in their lives. Open the eyes of their hearts and lead them into your light. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for guidance as we continue on this journey of Holy Week, that we may encounter each day with fresh insight and a deeper understanding of what you have done for us at such a great cost. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Receive this prayer of benediction. Lord Jesus, I have heard your knocking at the door of my life. Come in and abide with me. I throw open the door to you, my Lord. Come in and never leave me. Amen. Go now to continue this walk toward the cross with Jesus.